Hello, soccer fans. This is Jose Bosch for FCTucson.com, and you're watching another edition of the FC Tucson Report. We're here live from Field 5, where FC Tucson loses a heartbreaker to division-leading Fresno Fuego. We'll go to the highlights. Connor Brand opened things up for FC Tucson, nearly curling a free kick into the net, but it drills the crossbar, kept it nil-nil. Then Michael Dorigo makes two huge point-blank saves to keep the score tied at nil-nil, and then for the rest of the first half, neither team really had any great chances. Then in the second half, 56th minute, Michael Dorigo with a great save, but he cannot come up with a rebound, and Paul Islas is there to score a goal and make it 1-0 Fresno Fuego. FC Tucson had several great chances in the second half, but their best one came in the 82nd minute when Ricardo Velasco rips a shot with defenders all over him, but Fresno keeper Diaz makes the diving save, keeping it 1-0. And that is how the match ended. We spoke with head coach Rick Schantz and some players about the heartbreaking loss. The problem is uh, what we had Thursday night is everybody was clicking. And tonight it was, you know, we were, we were two passes when we needed to be three. And, and we were one when we needed to be two. And, and then once we start to get a little bit of uh, failure or, or things start to struggle, it gets too individualized. And, and the guys try to start doing things on their own. And, uh, that's where I think that's where it all fell apart. No, not at all. I don't think. I think everyone should still have their confidence. We put we, we had shots on frame. We had shots to hit the crossbar. I mean, we had our chances to score. We just didn't put them in today. Um, you know, I mean, I think they're obviously a little bit more physical, um, quicker players than you know the OC Blue team we saw the other day. Um, you know, it's kind of a bummer to come from a 9-1 uh, win, such a high, and then come out here and lose. You know, one nil. Obviously, it's a better team, but you know, I think. Nine out of ten times we beat that team, and uh, unfortunately, today was the one time we lost. Well, now after this loss, FC Tucson will have to travel to Southern California where they'll play the Southern California Seahorses again. If you remember, the last time the two teams met on June 1st, FC Tucson drew with the Seahorses. They allowed a late goal to get the draw there, so they're going to have vengeance on their mind. That match is on Tuesday night, 7 o'clock. If you want to follow that match, you can go to our Twitter account at FC underscore Tucson. You can also follow all FC Tucson Tucson News on Facebook at facebook.com slash FC Tucson or on our website at www.fctucson.com. That's it for this edition of the FC Tucson Report. I'm Jose Boss saying so long, Tucson.